core is rotten, and I can behold the tide. Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be having a look at Wales, specifically Mark Drayford, as he's come back with a reply to a legitimate question of concern regarding discrimination and possibly inequality. You know the things that these fraggles run on, are supposed to run on, with one of the most disgusting fob-off responses I've ever heard. Have a listen to this everyone. What action is the Welsh Government taking to close the gender gap amongst higher education students? I thought while well, headline data reveals a gender gap, these mask a more complex position at a subject level. Uh, this government's commitment is to ensure every person in Wales has high aspirations and a fair and equal opportunity to reach their fullest potential through providing a series of different and accessible pathways to learning. First Minister, recently a report was released in the House of Commons Library showing that white working class males are least likely to attend university within the UK. After some digging into Welsh figures, I found that the figures show that the Wales' gender divide in this regard, on average, is worse than both the UK and English averages. And within this divide, white students face the largest gender disparity in, the, in, in attending university, both in Wales and the whole of the UK. Wales's gender disparity is 6% wider than the national average. First Minister, more students are winning university places in every demographic in the UK, except for white males, which has decreased by 10% in the last eight years. It is now imperative that we shed some light on this issue and look into the root causes of why one particular group of uh, people in society Society are getting left behind. We cannot and should not consign a generation of white working class young men to the dustbin of history in the name of diversity or anything else, quite frankly. So, First Minister, what is your government doing to ensure that this inequality isn't exacerbated in the coming years? And will you agree to a setting up an investigation into the root causes of this crisis? Uh, well, so is, uh, I deprecate the member's willingness to turn every single issue, no matter how serious, into a form of culture war. Uh, th there really is no need whatsoever to do that. It's a serious issue. It deserved a better, it deserved a better question than you've managed to provide. You hear those figures? He didn't like the question, the way it was held, that it was a culture war issue. It's not a culture war issue. It's facts and figures and you can't answer, can you? That's what that was. Here's a better question for you, Drakeford. Why are you, the party of tolerance and support and equality, allowing discrimination within your schooling system, just like England is, against white working class boys? Is that a better question for you? You noticed know, still at the very beginning when she didn't mention white and boy, he was all for figuring out what the inequalities are and stamping them out. What action is the Welsh Government taking to close the gender gap amongst higher education students? I thought while well, headline data reveals a gender gap, these mask a more complex position at a subject level. Uh, this Government's commitment is to ensure every person in Wales has high aspirations. Not everyone, no way. Drakeford. And a fair and equal opportunity to reach their fullest potential through providing a series of different and accessible pathways to learning. As soon as she mentioned boys, he was like, I don't want to answer this. This is culture war. Disgusting man. Absolutely disgusting man. And this is going to destroy education in this country even more, in my honest opinion. If you want to help the channel, you can buy a beer. And tally up to yourself. I know it's things are tight at the moment. Stay sane. I'll see you on the next one. Let me know what you think, though, everyone. I'd like to know your opinion. Disgrace, isn't it? Stay sane. I'll see you on the next one.